friends, welcome to There and To Back Again. I'm Logan Greathouse. Thank you very much for visiting with me today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the pipe smoker's bag, or the carry-all, or the man bag, or the man purse, or the whatever you wanna call it. There's, I've heard lots of names for it, uh, but it's the bag that you take when you go out. Uh, I'm not talking about the bag that you pack for an extended trip, I'm talking about the bag that you might want to pack uh, when you're just leaving for the day. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I carry when I leave the house. And I, le and I, and I take it every time I leave the house uh, so that I've always got uh, my stuff with me if I want to have a, a smoke. So um, we're going to talk about a couple of varieties. This is what I carry with me. Uh, this bag here, it's just a, uh, it might, might kind of look like a little, or you might carry a shaving kit or, or something on a standard travel, uh, a trip that you might take. Um, it's waxed canvas, uh, and, uh, this one was gifted to me by a family member. It is the perfect size, uh, for what I like to carry. Uh, and you may not want to carry that size of a bag with you um, you might want to take something a little bit smaller or you might want to take something a little bit bigger it depends on the type of person that you are um, some other options that there are there are these uh, small type pouches like this uh, that uh, in here is a small little uh, lined uh, pocket that you can keep all of your tobacco in and then on the side you've got another uh, separate pocket that you can keep uh, your matches, your your cleaners, uh, you might put uh, your lighter in there and your tamp. And then in the bottom, this one can actually hold two different pipes. There's a, a one here where you stick this way and another one on this side. You zip it up and you've got a, a handy little carrying uh, case with you. This is really handy, small size. You can take it with you pretty much everywhere you go. Hide it uh, if you have to. Um, and uh, then there's another one for the uh, kind of the more rustic look. I picked this one up on Etsy. I think it was something like 30 or 40 bucks, if I remember right. But it's got this leather tie. It's all leather construction. And it's got here, I don't know if maybe you can see, it's got a couple of pockets on both sides that you could put tobacco into. Now, for that, you'd probably need to use something like a Ziploc bag uh, just because it's raw leather in there. Uh, so it won't be really protected and your tobacco will dry out. And then you've got a pocket here for your lighter uh, and then a couple of small uh, pockets here, maybe one for a tamp and one for uh, a pipe. Uh, what I found with this one is I would uh, usually uh, fill it with what I wanted uh, and then roll it up. And actually, when I, once I tied it, I would slip my pipe right in, in the front here and kind of slip it right in there. And that really worked well. Um, I didn't like that it wasn't as protected. Uh, the pipe itself wasn't as protected in that. But it, the, for the look, this thing was pretty cool. Um, but back to my kit. I use this one. It's a great size uh, for me to follow what I call the rule of two. And the rule of two is I take two of everything with me. So um, uh, this bag... When, uh, is waxed canvas, and I'll, I'll tell you why waxed canvas is important. Uh, leather works well, but waxed canvas keeps moisture off. And uh, so if you're caught outside in the rain, and you can throw your stuff in your bag and the, the water just kind of beads right off. Uh, a, a funny story, uh, a couple of weekends ago, I, I took this to a friend's farm, uh, and we were sitting having a smoke, and his dog came up and lifted his leg and peed on it. I, that's kind of gross, but uh, it just it just rolled right off. It act, and it never got any everything that was in it was protected. Uh, the uh, the stuff just rolled right off. I got a I cleaned it well. Don't worry, and I checked all my stuff. It was clean. So uh, that that made me a believer in waxed canvas. But anyway, back to the rule of two. What do I keep in here? What do I take with me? I take one two pipes. I keep them in these little containers so that they don't, when they jostle around, they don't hit each other. But I also don't take my most prized pipes. I take pipes that if they get nicked, if they, if I drop it, it's okay. If I lose one, it's okay. I, I, I don't, it's not that big a deal. 
Uh, it's a great way. Uh, corn cobs are a great uh, pipe to take with you when you go uh, when you leave the house because they're cheap, they're replaceable, um, and they're excellent smokers. So that's what I keep. Those are the pipes. I take two pipes. Next, I bring tobacco. Um, and I do bring it, uh, sometimes I use these small mason jars uh, as travel jars because they fit really nicely in there. Some people may not want to take glass, so that does add a little bit more fragility to it. You might invest in something like this, which is a uh, tobacco pouch. This one is leather and it's lined and you can just stuff a few handfuls uh, of uh, tobacco and take that with you. But I always take two varieties because you never know what mood you're in. Uh, I usually bring an English blend and then something else like a uh, uh, an, uh, Virginia blend, sometimes an aromatic, uh, but I like to have my options uh, with me. Uh, next, I bring a lighter and a small thing of matches. This thing is big enough that you could actually put a big thing of matches in. Sometimes I do that, but I keep both in case one doesn't work for me. Uh, if I'm in high wind, I'll use this. If I'm inside, I'll use matches. So it gives you a couple of options. Also, tampers. You can never have too many tampers. When you go to the pipe store, the tobacco store, ordering online, whatever, pick up a tamper. They're like $2 and you always need one every time you have a pipe. So I keep a couple of pipe nails with me. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite. It's It's got a flat head here and it's got a little angle here for scraping, poking, uh, and everything that you need. This one is, is very similar. It's a little uh, more fragile. I've had some of these break on me before. Same thing. You've got kind of a flat paddle here. You can uh, scrape if you need to and then you can pack it. And that comes in handy. Pipe cleaners. The other thing, order every time that you go to a, 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 a your website or a tobacco shop, get some pipe cleaners. You need these to keep your pipe clean, tasting good. I keep those in there. What else do I keep? Most people don't think about this. I keep a pipe stand because you never know where you're at and if you have to set your pipe down for a second, like a picnic table or the grass or wherever outside of your work, doesn't matter. Uh, if you bring a pipe stand with you, you've got a safe place so that it's not laying in the dirt or laying on a dirty picnic table or whatever, or you're spilling your uh, tobacco out of it. Uh, this is like a dollar uh, that I found and works great. You can find pipe stands all, you know, at any tobacco store online or a brick and mortar shop. And then probably the last thing, this is not really pipe related, I bring a cigar cutter because sometimes you don't smoke a pipe sometimes you really want a cigar and so I keep that in there uh, just because it's I just do it's just one of those things this is this is my kit this is what I like to take with me um, anyway I would encourage you to, to put together a kit, if you uh, uh, buy you a good size bag, try it out, try different sizes, keep different sizes so that you've always got something ready uh, to just grab if you're on your way out the door. That way you're not caught somewhere and you don't have your smoke. Anyway, well that was, uh, that's all for today. Uh, I thank you guys so much for visiting with me. If you like what I had to say, click like, click, click subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.